Hey y'all, I'm Channing, the owner and artist of Baxter and Me. Baxter and Me is much more than just a business. It is truly a ministry that is near and dear to my heart. You see, it's kind of a beautiful, crazy story how Baxter and Me began. It um, actually was born out of a painful situation in my life. You see, when Baxter was three years old, I found myself as a single mom and I had to figure out a way to supplement my income and just to figure out a way to pay the bills. So at that time I was working at an apartment complex property and people would throw out a lot of furniture, a lot of random wood things uh, in the dumpster. And so I began to gather those items and you know that were tossed away and um, you know placed by the dumpster much like the real life situation that I was feeling in that moment. You know, the feelings of abandonment and just broken and just not worthy and tossed away. Well, I began to paint those items that were once trash and kind of gave them new life, just like Christ does in us. But the crazy part of the story is, you see, I never picked up a paintbrush before. Like, never. Like, maybe I caught a couple episodes of Bob Ross when I got off the school bus when I was younger, but never picked up art or studied art before. So here we were, me and Baxter would paint in the evenings, and he was my background boy. He would paint all the backgrounds blue. And as you notice in a lot of my artwork, uh, we have a lot of backgrounds that are blue because Baxter's favorite color is blue. But he would paint those and I, then I would paint a message of hope or, or God's promise. Uh, just something to bring him back into it because like I said, this was a gift that he had given me. Once we had several pieces of art uh, collected and painted and ready, I decided to travel to our local green market. So I buckled Baxter in his car seat and bless him, he had wood scraps just piled in the back seat all around him. And we drove to the local green market and I remember y'all, there were times almost to the penny that we made exactly what we needed to pay the light bill. Then that's how we were surviving. We were literally taking nothing and painting which was bringing us joy and an activity to do together, but it was sourcing an income. So later in years, in 2012, I decided to open up a brick and mortar gift shop. Y'all, it was so tiny and our little apartment was upstairs. So we lived up there and then the shop was downstairs. However, I still worked a full-time job. So it was kind of like a steakhouse. We were open Thursday, Friday, and Saturday. Come get your art. So after several years in business, stores began to call our shop asking for my artwork. They wanted it for their store. So here was a full-time job, you know, working a full-time job, owning a little gift shop, and now filling small little wholesale orders. All while being a single mama and getting back through to school, to and from, and t-ball practice and all of that. You see, God was expanding my business. And then I began to feel a little nudge in my heart to take a leap of faith and to trust Him that He would provide for us. He had given me this talent and He would provide a way for me not to have to worry and just hang on to that corporate job. So I did. I quit my corporate job and I trusted in Him and, and here I am today in a manufacturing warehouse facility in my hometown of Corinth, Mississippi, just completely in awe of what God has done. 10 plus employees making our goods and shipping them to stores all throughout the United States daily. It went from just one mama just trying to keep the lights on to now a group of women who empower and encourage each other every day. You know, when I think about where I am today and where I was then and what God was doing, it's, it's so clear to me now. You know, He just took an ordinary, broken mama and in a bad situation, to, and He used that to draw me closer to Him. And for that, I'm forever grateful. And my hope and my prayer is that Baxter Me Art is somewhere or it touches someone that may need to read it or read that scripture and encouragement and have that sense of hope. That's how God has turned this business into a ministry. 
People ask me all the time, like, do you have a life quote? And I do, and I paint it all the time. And it is, I am thankful for my struggle because without it, I wouldn't have stumbled across my strength. And I don't know if I would have the relationship with the Lord that I have today if I wouldn't have walked through that trying time. And for that, I'm truly thankful and grateful. God truly does make beauty from ashes.